we all sat around that room at that Airbnb and you know that's where we decided that we were going to establish a certain culture within the organization we had all had several negative experiences in our career that we all committed to each other we almost did the you know cut your palm and <laughs> do a blood swear that we would not create that kind of a culture if we yeah. created a kind of a culture where employees left because of the culture we we knew that we had made a mistake so we set that course as far as what the culture would be and and i then appointed myself you know self-appointed cultures are that we're going to put our stake mm -hmm. in the ground this right. is our culture and we're going to stick to it and it's going to come under fire people are going to attack it we're going to you know it's going to be our flag and and we're going to stick to it and we came up with our our values of uh, respect diversity integrity transparency and flexibility and i'm embarrassed that i can't recite them by memory i should be able to do that but well, but you do them in action I do. that's really what and, and we all do we yeah. all committed that it, and it was over a course of four and a half days that we came up with these values and then we continued to test them and pressure test them and they've come under attack under yeah. several occasions where people were saying we don't need that as a stated value it's just intrinsic it's given right. well let's add this one because we wanted to keep it to five kind of keeping that theme of five right. and every time somebody wanted to drop one or add one we put it through that pressure test and they have stood the test of time over yes. the past almost two years. Yeah, and we and because we've reviewed them at any of our offsites, even though there may be little strategic mm -hmm. offsites, not as much as that, but we've now had a number of them, and mm -hmm. it's really where we start our discussions. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's one of the things that we've gone from zero to almost a hundred people who are within our organization, and we cover forty-one states, and we're a company that has solid footing in, in our community and support. And, but we also have a significant men, amount of our people who work virtually, and we find that those things are core no matter where you sit. Mm -hmm. And it's what tethers us all together because the other unique thing, and I think you hit on this a, a little bit earlier, is we don't look to hire people who are like us. Right. Because then if you're, you're, not, you're not getting the creative, entrepreneurial, out-of-the-box thinking mm -hmm. in which you really need to continue to push especially in the environment that we're in, where you have to have people who really are able to think on their feet and do tactical stuff as well as doing strategic. Mm -hmm. We're dramatically impacting uh, communities. I think it has a ripple effect. Keep those seatbelts on.